Simula nung umuwi kami ng Pilipinas, lagi kaming tinatanong ng mga kamag-anak at mga kaibigan namin sa Canada kung for good na ba kami sa Pilipinas. Ngayon, bago natin sagutin, eh bakit nga ba kami umuwi ng Pilipinas in the first place? Alam nyo, Canada has been wonderful to us. It gave us opportunities, a great quality of life, and most importantly, sa Canada nabuo at nagsimula ang family namin. <laughs> Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, I went to Canada in 2008 to work as a nurse. That time kasi, hindi man ang nursing. Tapos, doon sa province ng Saskatchewan sa Canada, may employer na pumunta sa Pilipinas para mag-hire ng mga nurses. Isa ako sa mga masuswerteng mga nakuha. I felt very grateful kasi natupad ang pangarap kong makapag-abroad at kumita ng dollars. When we started a family and had kids, I quit my nursing career para mas matutukan namin ng mister ko ang paglaki ng mga Bata. Gusto namin hands-on kami at talagang laging present while they are growing up. We want to be there to witness every milestones. We want to hear their first word, first step, first everything. Ganun pala talaga pag naging magulang ka na, no? Gusto mo wala kang namimiss. Doon ko rin na-realize actually kung gaano kabilis ang panahon. Talagang dapat i-treasure mo every moment. Part of what we agreed as a couple ay dalhin ang mga bata sa Pilipinas para ma-experience nila how to grow up in the Philippines. Makilala ang mga kamag-anak, i-explore ang mga beautiful destinations, matutunan ang good Filipino culture gaya ng pagmamano, magpo at opo. So when I gave birth to our third child, we went back to the Philippines. One-way ticket ang binili namin kasi wala naman kami exact date kung kailan kami babalik ng Canada. It was an indefinite vacation. Initial Marami nga nagsasabi, sinayang ko lang daw ang karir ko as a nurse. Napakarami kasing naghahangad na maging nurse sa Canada, pero ako, binaliwala ko lang daw. You know what? I understand their point because I was once a provinciana who wished to have a better future abroad and that's why I pursued nursing. But you know what I learned? That change happens. Change happens every time. Even our plans and goals in life. Kung dati gusto kong maging successful sa career ko, ngayon gusto ko ng healthy family and happy life. When we arrived in the Philippines, maraming adjustments ang ginawa namin, especially dahil maliliit pa yung mga bata. Number one is yung water that we drink. We've got a lot of friends in Canada na every time they go to the Philippines for vacation, they will have diarrhea. Two of them actually got confined sa hospital for a few days sa sobrang sakit ng chan, diarrhea, and vomiting. Knowing this, we were very careful especially when eating outside. Dapat laging nakabottled water. Another adjustment was the weather. Although isa sa mga nami-miss natin sa Pilipinas pag tumira tayo sa mga malalamig na lugar ay yung init ng panahon. Pero sometimes it's too much, especially during summer. Lagi naming iniisip yung mga bata baka magkaroon ng skin rashes dahil sa init o kaya anything related sa heat. Syempre as a parent, hindi mo maiwasang mag-worry. Pag sobrang init, sa loob lang kami ng bahay or somewhere malamig or may aircon. Another thing is the kids education. Since sa Canada pa lang, we planned to homeschool our kids na. So, when we went to the Philippines, very limited pa that time yung mga homeschooling programs. So, what we did was just homeschool our kids using what's available online. Umuwi kami ng Pilipinas just before pandemic. So, nung nag-pandemic, wala kaming option but to stay where we are. So, since walang magawa, hindi makagala, ang ginawa ng mister ko is nag-alaga siya ng mga ibon or parrots from small, medium, large birds. Mahilig na talaga siya mag-alaga ng ibon ever since bata pa siya. At natigil lang nung pumunta sila ng family niya sa Canada. Nung nasa Pilipinas na ulit kami, bumalik ulit siya sa passion niya. Nagugulat na nga lang ako palagi. Every time na umuwi siya, may daladalang ibon. Nagumpisa sa isang pair, dalawa, tatlo, hanggang sa dumami na ng dumami. Ganun daw talaga pag nag-aalaga ka ng ibon. Hindi ka makukontento sa isa, dalawang pares, tatlong pares. Gusto mo, meron ka ng lahat ng kulay nila at lahat ng klase. 
nagpagawa din pala kami ng kubo. Kasi since ang unang goal namin sa Pilipinas ay magbakasyon lang, nagpagawa kami ng two-bedroom na kubo pero kakaiba siya. Dinesign namin na parang kondo sa loob. Sa labas mukhang regular na kubo pero pagpasok mo ay para kang nasa kondo. May two bedrooms, sariling washroom, shower, living area, veranda. At sa baba niya, ginawang aviary ng mister ko. Doon niya nilagay lahat ng mga ibon niya. So every morning, magkakapikapi siya sa baba at nakatingin sa mga ibon niya, ako naman, nakaisip ako ng idea. Sabi ko, gawa kaya ako ng YouTube channel about sa mga ibon. Since lagi naman tayo dito nakatambay, why not document it? Mahilig talaga kasi akong mag-vlog at mag-video. That was my early days on YouTube. It was February 19, 2020 when I uploaded my first video on that bird YouTube channel. And then, lumaki na ng lumaki ang channel. Marami akong realization sa naging journey namin. The first and foremost realization is the importance of spending time with family. Spending time not only means na magkakasama kayo physically, but by being present every time you are together. Moving back to the Philippines has allowed us to do just that. I was also able to spend time with my parents. I have learned that the true measure of success ay wala sa mga titles or material wealth, but in the quality of relationships we nurture. Prioritizing family has brought so much joy and sense of fulfillment that no career achievement could ever replace. And since our life is short, we really have to spend it well. Spend it on things that make us happy. Next realization was in business. When I quit my nursing career and became an entrepreneur, it was tough. Wala akong background or formal education sa business. It was so far from my profession. I have to learn it. Read books, took courses, hired mentors. I failed many, many times. But I'm glad I did because I learned a lot. I have discovered that true success in business comes from passion, purpose, and a willingness to serve others. Another thing and very important is to increase your awareness. Not all the things that you were told when you were young are true. Hindi lang sa pagiging empleyado ang way of life. I thought, ganun na lang talaga ang buhay. Magtapos ng pag-aaral, magtrabaho hanggang sa mag-retire ka at the age of 60. Saka mo may enjoy yung mga bagay na gusto mo. May ibang way pala. May mga tao na masaya sa pagiging empleyado. I respect that and I am pro-happiness. Kung saan ka masaya, doon ka. Yun ang gawin mo. Gusto ko kasi ng freedom. Yung hindi ka na magpapaalam kung gusto mong magbakasyon. To live my own life in my own terms. Enjoy people and things that make me happy. And I have learned that there is a way. Lastly, realization about life. I realize that even though we make our own plans, sometimes God has different plans for us. We spend so much time desiring our future. Ang dami-dami nating plano sa buhay. That's good. But get this, those plans will only happen if it's God's will. I have seen this through failed relationships, failed businesses, unexpected events, and so much more. Everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidences. So now, to answer the question, are we going to stay in the Philippines for good or not? To tell you honestly, we don't know. All we know is we plan to go back and forth to Canada since we are dual citizens. Whether we stay here in the Philippines or find ourselves in Canada or another part of the world, I know that it is part of His divine plan. We trust in the process, we remain open kung saan man kami dalhin ng buhay, and we find joy in every moment. If you get this far, I hope our journey inspires you to reflect on your own path. Remember, it's okay na magbago ang takpo ng buhay ninyo. Trust in God's plan, cherish your family, pursue your passions, and live with purpose. Know that no matter what happens, you will be exactly where you are meant to be. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. If you want more videos, click the red button to subscribe. See you in the next one.